he right. is reporting that, uh, and he discloses the, with respect, thinness yeah. of this. Uh, he says right. he has gone over reports of Biden's tumultuous trip to Las Vegas last week. This was this actually appeared in the Daily Mail. One of the reporters who was on board Air Force One, uh, Emily Goodwin of the Daily Mail, reported, and it's in the Daily Mail right now. She was part of the press pool that the president was deathly pale, that Air Force One flew at maximum speed to Delaware, that people, their plates were shaking. It was scary for those on board. It was very clear to them they were going wow. unusually fast in the air and that they believed the president was having a medical emergency. And um, he says that he has been in touch in the wake of this report and others that with a senior official in Washington who helped Seymour Hirsch fashion an account of a White House in complete disarray culminating in the president's withdrawal from the race. And he says that last Saturday, July 20th, Obama, Mr. Obama was deeply involved in trying to get Obiden, Obiden, trying to get Biden out of this race. And that there was talk that he would place a call to Biden, quote, on Sunday morning, the official told me, with the approval of Pelosi and Schumer, resuming quotes, Obama called Biden after breakfast and said, here's the deal. We have Kamala's approval to invoke the 25th Amendment. But Obama made it clear, he goes on, that he was not going to immediately endorse Kamala Harris. Again, this reporting not being repeated elsewhere. Don't know whether there's truth to this, but if so, that would be a massive piece of reporting. So what do you make of it, Tara? Yeah. You know, it is one source, unnamed source on background, so I, I am a little dubious. But, you know, Obama made a point of not requesting to speak with Joe Biden. Um, he did not want to contact as him because he believed that. I, it's according to my reporting as well. Um, and I've been pretty ahead of this, you know, in terms of knowing that, like, Nancy Pelosi was deeply behind this orchestrating it. She was in contact with by, um, with Obama. But they knew that Obama was not going to have influence on him because of the last time that they talked back in uh, 2019. And he had convinced, um, sorry, back in 2015, when he had convinced him yeah. not to run um, for office. So it was seen that any sort of influence from Obama was not going to work. And, and truly, Joe Biden was very dug in. He was very, very dug in at that time. Um, you know, I was told, though, that if he did not drop out by Sunday, that that following week was going to get increasingly nastier, especially from hell leaders. There would just be, you know, an onslaught of lawmakers calling for him to step down. It would become aggressive. It was just uh, maybe one of them would have said something like that publicly. But and it would all be with, you know, the leaders hands off, allowing them to do that. No one like Chuck Schumer or Hakeem Jeffries or Nancy Pelosi stopping them. But I don't believe that, um, not, it contradicts with my reporting, at least that President Obama picked up the phone and called him and made this threat. Mm, I mean, it would be so extraordinary if that ever gets matched or out there. It That's an earthquake of a report. Right. But who knows? You know, I don't, it's not true that it was ground up as Chuck Schumer keeps trying to tell us, we all know that. Grassroots, he keeps saying. Okay, you say so. Um, all right. They so, let the roots rise up. <laughs> yeah, they rose all the way up to the very top they, of the Democratic they, they Party. They put some seeds on it, some water, and let it happen, right? <laughs> I think also this this reporting, just more generally in Tower's reporting and all of, all of what we've heard, points to, you know, regardless of the specifics of this 25th Amendment claim, points to the reality that there was an intense pressure campaign to push Biden out. And it was from Nancy Pelosi on downwards. Um, and I think that's really, you know, the the crux of this is just, you know, he did face this intense pressure campaign from the highest people in the Democratic Party to step aside. Um, and I think that, you know, that reporting just generally it gets at that reality that, you know, he faced so much pressure that, as Tara said, he did not want to step aside. He had made that clear over the past few weeks, but the pressure built and it was so big that he was, you know, he had no choice essentially in the end. I think there's an argument to be made. Well, it's tough to look at the numbers now and say the Democrats made a mistake 
very, very tough mm-hmm. to make that argument, though the process yeah. itself definitely have some have some questions about that. And if I were a Democrat voter, I'd be wondering why I didn't get to vote for my nominee. Could have been some others with an even better chance uh, against Trump than Kamala Harris, which you know, they want to ignore her flaws in the press. But the record is what the record is. And she owns all of Joe Biden's you know policy failures. And she's she is awkward. So we're going to see it. That that can't be hidden. You know how much my family and I love our dogs, even my sweet Strudwick. I can't imagine life without them. They have a great life, but some dogs are not so fortunate. And that is why I'm so glad to tell you about Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. They've rescued thousands of dogs, plus cats and horses too. They provide all of these animals with shelter, safety, and most of all, love. And they've been doing it now for more than 45 years. Delta Rescue relies solely on contributions to stay open, and giving can bring tax benefits to you as well. So speak with your estate planner about how you could grow your estate while helping these animals in need. Check out the estate planning tab on their website if you want to learn more. We love our Thunder and Strudwick. Delta Rescue can help you share your love for animals by helping the pups and other animals who need it most. Visit deltarescue.org today to learn more. That's deltarescue.org. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.